Welcome to Wii U Quick Reviews, the show where I review any Wii U game as quickly as possible. Today's game is... Let's get started. The 3D platformer was a dying art form up until recently. Just last year we got Super Mario Odyssey, Ukulele, and A Hat in Time, but in the years prior releases were few and far between. Naturally, this meant that the Wii U provided minimal choices for fans of the genre. Of course, an HD re-release of the PlayStation 2's Legend of K would come to the rescue. Originally released in 2005, the game received a re-release for every major console available in 2015, except the Xbox One for some reason. The re-release advertised new HD graphics, and pretty much nothing else. It was an updated release in the simplest sense of the word. Essentially everything except the graphics are identical to the 2005 release of the game. Starting off, the story is as simple as any other platformer. A bunch of animal people live in harmony, and some other animal people, gorillas and rats, come in and start conquering the land, and you want to put a stop to it. It's simple, and it does its job of getting the player motivated for some platforming goodness. All of the classic platforming moves are here too. You have your double jump, your crouch jump to get extra height, a roll, and the ability to wall jump at specific locations. Being a combat-oriented platformer, there's also plenty of moves and weapons to master. Combat does get old after a while though, as many enemies can be dispatched easily with the same combos of just a few buttons. It's quite an in-depth system alright, but fights feel like too much of a chore after a while. All of your moves flow together quite nicely, though the game leaves something to be desired with your platforming abilities. There's never any chance to skip around levels with some fancy footwork, and secrets are kept pretty simple, although I guess I've just been spoiled by these two. There's also a lot of collectibles, including coins, crystals which are converted to points, and lives. Don't worry, the lives are as pointless here as they were in Mario 64. The points are also, well, pointless and contribute only to online leaderboards and end of level unlocks. Nobody even cared about high scores in 2005 though, so leaderboards aren't really a selling point. The coins, however, allow you to purchase upgrades at a shop, so it's well worth collecting them. To keep things mixed up, there are animal riding areas in between your standard fetch quests. Since we have all the gameplay mechanics covered, let's sum up the whole package with the pros and cons. The graphics are decidingly alright. It looks exactly like what you would expect from a PS2 game given the HG treatment. The music is pretty good, but forgettable nonetheless. It's the type of thing that you love to listen to, but can never remember offhand. It's just not catchy enough. The platforming and combat flows great, but the tedium that comes with the combat will turn a lot of players away from K. And the voice acting and script are filled with a certain edge that a lot of games from the mid 2000s had. Chill, dumpster breath. You think I actually want to enter your stinks kill zone? And they aged terribly. Most important, however, is the camera, which is downright awful at times. You will miss a lot of jumps within restricted areas due to the camera. But let's address the elephant in the room, the biggest reason not to pick up the Wii U version of K. Not only is Legend of K Anniversary available on the Nintendo Switch, it's also available on just about every console out there as stated earlier. The Wii U version is about $10, but it's not impossible to find one of the other versions for the same price. The Switch version even has a pretty good chance to drop from its $30 price point with its physical release. Overall, Legend of K Anniversary is a perfectly average 3D platformer. If you're itching to play one and understand that it'll come with some camera hiccups and corny dialogue, check it out. It is of course not worth buying a Wii U for however, considering the myriad of ports available. 